Okay, I'm going to actually try to give you a workout today so you can put a few moves together and start doing that in order to try to start uh, making a difference at home. Um, I have a lot of other uh, workout videos done, a seven day video series utilizing some body weight stuff. If you want to check it out on YouTube. Um, but the three moves I'm going to show you today are all body weight moves. That way you can do them at home, uh, whether you have equipment or not. Also show some later uh, that incorporate equipment and some different things uh, so you can keep progressing. But we just want to start with uh, three moves today, so three things to get you active. And ideally, you want to at least spend a half hour uh, working out with a warm up, with stretching, and uh, with your cool down. So, you know, putting at least a half hour together. Um, you can do that three days a week, you can do it five, you can do it six, uh, however, it's going to work as far as your schedule. And, you know, that's the, the good part about working with someone and being able to develop a program for them is you can do that around their schedule and around their equipment and things that work for them. Uh, most people, though, if you're just getting started, you probably don't have equipment, so you're looking for body weight stuff. So we're going to cover three body weight moves. Uh, the first one, we're just going to look at a basic squat. You can either do it um, like a, a prayer squat or you can put your hands out in front of you. Uh, you want to make sure that your knees are tracking out, they don't go in. If you want more in-depth, you can watch the squat video on it. We're just going to do a squat. Second move is we're going to do a burpee where we go down. Um, I actually jump back and come up. Now, burpees, you normally add a jump with it. Not trying to do that much intensity. We're really just trying to get the down and up movement to get your heart rate up, get you active. So if, um, if you're deconditioned, doing a jump back might be a little um, too intense for you. So you can just put your hands down and step back and then come back up. And that way it's going to keep getting your heart rate up. Uh, the third move is just a basic move and it's just going to be jumping jacks. So that's going to be three easy moves that you can do at home. You can do that any room in your house, as long as you have enough room to, to get down in a burpee position. Um, if a burpee is too strenuous, you can just get down uh, for like a down up, and you can just add push-ups, like knee push-ups or something like that in uh, to try to hit your chest a little bit. A lot of different ways that you can modify things in order to make them fit your needs so that you get the results that you need to get. Talked about some modifications on the other videos, so like I said, check those out. Um, but the whole point is just to try to get you more active. So those three body weight moves. So we got the squat, we got burpees, and we got jumping jacks. And all we're going to do with those three things is do 10 of one, move the other, and then move to the third one. If you need to rest 30 seconds between them, then do that. And for this workout, I would suggest five rounds. Now, if you want to work out longer to make sure you get 30 minutes in and uh, you're in good shape, maybe you add more rounds. Um, if you need more rest and take more rest, maybe you only get three rounds. But we're going to prescribe five, and that's going to be our goal, is to try to hit five rounds. You just rest as necessary. And then what we want to do is just improve somehow for the next workout. So whether it's cutting time, whether it's adding more reps, whatever we're doing, we're just trying to um, improve each workout. So some type of progress is all you're looking for. So don't think that you can't do it. Don't think that just because it's hard today that you're not going to do it the next day. We're just looking for continual progress. So if you can only get five today and you have to take a break and you go through and uh, it ends up taking you know 30 minutes, you only make through two rounds, that's fine. The next time we just try to do it you know, and make it a little further or like I said, add reps in. So there's lots of different things you can manipulate. Maybe the next time we get to where we do 12 reps, the next time we do 15 reps. So you can add reps or like I said, we can just keep doing it and trying to get quicker time. So um, today we're just going to work on those three moves. We're going to shoot for five rounds and see how you do.